I ran into another problem. Uh, the little cones that hold the, the wing down, these little guys right here, I only had one. And Iron Bay doesn't make them. Can't get them. It's impossible. So anyway, this one here came from Scott McCrory again. And uh, so what I did was I needed another one. And I wanted them all to look the same. Fortunately, with the kit that those guys had started, they'd already put the front ones in there. And so as a result, let me get this camera off of here. They'd already put them in there. And they did a decent job on them. I mean, like I said, this was probably 30 years ago that they put this together. But that's that one, and then they got that one there. And somebody had, actually, it wasn't Scott that gave me this. It was already in there, and that one right there, it just fell out. But I needed another one, and since Iron Bay doesn't make one, and I didn't know about Fred Culberson's thing until just recently, I went and made a mold of that one. And this molding rubber is made by uh, Smooth On. And I believe it's the 35, it's the pink stuff. So, anyway, I made a mold of this, slid it out. And what I'm going to demonstrate for you guys right now is I am going to make a new one. And fortunately, that's what Scott McCrory gave me. And that goes inside there. So, I've got a couple of extra ones of these, and I could make as many, many of them tie-down cones as I want. And so what I'm going to use is this stuff here is part A and part B, and it's called polycast. And you can get part A and part B plastics, but this one here turns pure beautiful white, and it's really tough. It's semi-flexible. Um, rigid semi flexible kind of stuff but it's not brittle when it's done and I use this all the time in what I do for a living and for those of you who don't know what I do for a living that's what I do for a living I do a lot of molding and casting so anyway back to RC I'm going to put this together I made one a couple years ago out of fiberglass and since it was a kit that's been floating around, I accidentally stepped on it, broke it, so rendered it kind of useless. Still have it floating around. I could probably glue it back together and make it look halfway decent, but I'm not going to do that. I'd rather have a brand new one. So that's what I'm going to do, and I will show you how to do it right now. <laughs> 